Oh my god, hello, hello. Hi everyone. Hi, hi CJ. Thank you for taking first. <laughs> You're the first in my heart. <laughs> hello, Hawa. How are you? So good seeing you. And hi, Karina. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, I've, I'm like, I've been so beat these past few days since coming back. I, I don't think I've gotten out of bed past like earlier than 12, so I'm slowly recovering. I kind of have to or else I'm just gonna die on Monday when I have to go back to work. <laughs> also, hello, Hawa. How are you? It's been a while. <laughs> how has everyone been? I know it's been a while. It's been two weeks, I think, since since I've streamed, so I hope y'all didn't forget about me. Also, hi, Blue! Hello, hello! Come on in! How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, how's everyone been? I have lots of stories. I actually have a bunch of photos ready, so... You know, I'm ready to share with you all everything that happened at AX. You're at work, so you're happy you can, I can be your background? <gasps> Good luck at work, Karina. Oh my goodness. Wait, today's a, a Saturday. <gasps> you're working on a Saturday? No. Okay, well, good luck at work. And I'm glad to be your background. <laughs> also, hi, Tofu. Hello, hello. Come on in. How are you today? It's been a while. <laughs> you're good because you see me now? Oh, how uh, I'm doing good too. I'm doing even better now that you're all are here with me. I'm glad to be back. Also, hi, Yuri. Hello, hello. How are you? It's been a while. It's been a while to everyone. I'm going to, like, I, sh I should have set up a counter for how many times Shoal says it's been a while. Because everyone that's coming in, I'm like, it's been a while. It's been a while. Because it really has. I haven't streamed for two weeks now, I think. And um, while I'm like, while I was in LA, I didn't have a really strong Wi-Fi connection, so I couldn't even like keep up with Twitter. <laughs> We're probably at like eight counts. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's going to be my most used phrase today. You're doing good. How are you? I'm doing good, Yuri, and doing even better now that you're here with me. <laughs> but yes, for those of you who don't know, I have not been streaming for the past week, two weeks, because I was in Los Angeles for Anime Expo and for vacation. So I was out touching grass, doing the weeb things, and I managed to avoid the con plague. I didn't catch COVID, thank God, because I really was gambling there, like, I don't think I wore a mask because <laughs> it was so hot inside, which I probably should. But like the first two days I was in cosplay. I'm like, I don't want to um, mess up my makeup. So I didn't wear a mask. And then the last two days, I'm like, you know what? I, I already didn't wear a mask. Let's just let's just pray and hope for the best. <laughs> Hello, Nia, darling. How are you? I am alive. Yes. Yes. Surprise, surprise. I am here. <laughs> I've been in Yeehaw land, so you know, I'm alive now. I'm back from America. I'm back in Canada. And surprisingly, surprisingly, America is well, actually LA was so much cooler than Canada. Like I come back and I was surprised at how humid and warm it was. Actually, no, I was shook when I went there. And, like, the nights were cold. It was, like, 19 degrees, 20 degrees. Like, I had to wear a sweater. I thought it was going to be warm, but I wore a jacket in L.A. Pretty much for my entire stay there. I was like, I should have I should have brought more long sleeves. Or, like, I should have brought more layers. Last week was a heat storm. Oh man. Okay, I'm glad I missed that then. Like as much as I love warmer weather, I'm glad I missed out on the heat wave. <laughs> oh my god, that sucks though. Yeah. Hopefully it's cooled down a little bit. 
Yeah, you have to learn. You have to move from one city to another city and back every day. Oh no, that does suck. That does suck. Nineteen degrees is cold. Nineteen degrees is cold for me. Okay, I I get cold very easily. <laughs> so, yeah, like the highest in LA was twenty five or twenty six, but it's also the desert. I think so. Definitely a lot less humid. The breeze was nice. You could definitely just wear like a jacket and shorts and be fine. It was wild. It really was wild. And thank you for the head pat. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> hello, Morgana. Hello, hello. How are you today? Come on in. It's been a while. <laughs> I am back from vacation. I'm just chatting a bit before we jump right in. Um, I did upload a bunch of photos to my google drive so i have photos to share with y'all to talk about my vacation and i am very very excited to share i hope you guys are just excited as i am you've been okay been in a funk oh man i'm sorry to hear that i hope everything works out for you and keep your head up okay Working on making some new content and seeing how that goes. Hey, let's go. You got this, Morgana. You got this. I'm back just in time for Red Redeems just started working again. <gasps> hey. Okay, I love that. I didn't even know Redeems were broken. I know my Redeems were a little funky for a bit, but I hope everything's fixed now. But yeah, today, today we're going to go talk about my vacation. We're, we'll jump right into it just in a few minutes. Hello, Hunter. Oh my god. Hello, hello. How are you? Come on in. You're gonna sleep, Nia? Alright, sounds good. Have a good rest. <laughs> Have a good rest. But yeah, my vacation was great. I don't know if I feel physically recharged, but I definitely feel mentally recharged. And I'm just taking these past last few days before work. <laughs> before I have to, you know, get back into the grind. But um, yeah, shall we get started? Let me pull up my drive. And, and we can look at photos that I have. Yeah. Your redeems didn't work at all. You just use mobile Twitch chill. Oh no. Maybe it's a Twitch problem. I, I honestly have no idea, but Okay, let me switch over. Let me switch over to the slideshow. Not slideshow, but my photos. And and I'll show you all my photos. Okay, so I was there for a whole week. Um I feel like I didn't do very many like touristy things, but I did get in and out. Have you guys have you any of you guys tried in and out before? What are your opinions on it? Because I tried. I don't know if it's the in and out I tried, but honestly, in and out was like kind of mid. <laughs> don't 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 hunt me down for this, guys. Like I think Shake Shack's so much better than In and Out. But um, <laughs> it's pretty solid. Oh, oops, sorry, Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I got regular burger. I got. Um, I got animal fries and then I got a shake. Yeah, I was on the West Coast. I was in Cali, Morgana. I went to LA for Anime Expo. But yeah, I don't blame. It's a hit or miss for that place. Okay, so maybe it's the location I went to that was kind of bad because I went there. Okay, the thing is, all the restaurants in LA close really early. So... The day we arrived, because we had like a bunch of layovers. Well, I had one layover, but it took like the entire day to travel there. We got there at 5 p.m. And then we unpacked and settled in. And by then it was like 8 or 9 p.m. So in and out was like the very few places to that were that was still open. So we went. It was late at night. It was busy. We got our food. And... It was kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. Like, I was really hungry, so anything you eat when you're starving tastes great. But, like, once you get past that initial, you know, 
getting filled and getting full. It wasn't that great. The fries, they were like harder McDonald's fries. Um, I guess like the animal style included some kind of mayo ketchup thing. I, I don't know what the sauce is. Um, it had like onions, like caramelized onions, and then it had some American cheese on it. It was really filling, but it was, it was all right. The burger bun and lettuce don't look great in this photo. Yeah, they don't. They don't. <laughs> yeah, like if you zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's it's I think for one of the burgers, one of my friends' burgers, the inside was still a bit cold. So, you know. Yeah, in and out is West Coast. Honestly, if I tried, could do in and out but better. Yeah, honestly, you can make your own in and out, okay? We can we can just we have in and out at home. <laughs> Those fries are just plastered in cheese. They are. They are. I don't know. Is it just craft singles melted and then they, and then they just drizzled it on? It sure tastes like that. <laughs> but yeah, it was all right. And then the shake. I got a shake because I was like, okay, you know what? I tried Shake Shack's shake. I might as well try in and outs shake. I got it. It was solid. It was it was soft serve. <laughs> I had to use a spoon and spoon it out. <laughs> also, CJ, oh my goodness, thank you for the resub. Garlic aioli. <laughs> Yo, I love garlic aioli. Aioli's so good. Shake Shack's good but expensive. I know, right? I love Shake Shack. It's so good. But yeah, the, the shake here, it tasted like I couldn't even drink it. They gave you a straw. I tried sucking on it and nothing came out. So I had to open it and like use a spoon and scoop it out. It was it was that that solid. <laughs> you want ice cream now? Now is your chance, Hunter. It's time for you to get ice cream. <laughs> you haven't had Shake Shack in years. Do you live near a Shake Shack, Morgana? It's so good. Actually, LA had a Shake Shack as well, but it wasn't near anywhere we were going. So I ended up not going to uh any of the Shake Shacks. <laughs> yeah, it's too far out of the way to go back. Yeah, the Shake Shacks aren't too, too common, right? Like, maybe in New York City, they're not as common as in and outs because I'm pretty sure I saw like three or four in and outs And I didn't even go like too far out into LA. But yes, there was a Shake Shack in LA and there was in and out but yeah, anyways, that was like my very first, that was my very first food experience in the West Coast. It was slightly disappointing, but it's okay. We we got other food to make up for it. So next week, I'll get orders to get out and go home, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> out, out and go home instead of in and out. <laughs> Yeah, sounds good. Get takeout. <laughs> okay. But yes, this was in and out. Um this is this was my breakfast. So the hotel we stayed at was in Koreatown and there was a restaurant that was attached to the hotel. So I was still running on EST time at during that day. So I woke up at like 7:30 a.m. And we went to the Korean restaurant and we got some uh, porridge. Some chuk, I think. I, I think it's chuk in Korean. <laughs> but they had really good side dishes. Like that was, I think that was meat. Some kind of marinated steak or like meat. Kimchi. They had like the potatoes. I think that was zucchini. I think that was seaweed. And that was like the potato salad. Juk, yeah, I had juk. Uh, what's inside the porridge? I think we got beef and mushroom. So the it was interesting because I wasn't used to it. <gasps> Div, oh my god, hello, come on in. Thank you for the resub. How are you? Uh, yeah, it was beef. It was ground beef inside. 
and a mushroom. But the ground beef pieces were like very scattered, I think. Did you get your lightsabers? I got one of the lightsabers, Div. <laughs> I got one of the lightsabers. The other lightsaber has not came in yet. <laughs> but how are you? Was it good because it kind of looks average? I think it was pretty good. But to be fair, I don't eat much for breakfast. So this is very good breakfast food. It's very light breakfast food. Oh my god, is that the famous streamer Wong Fu? Twitch baby wear? Oh my, congratulations! Wow, we have a Twitch baby now. <laughs> Can't believe it's been nine months with Wong, jeez. But how are you, Wong? How are you doing? <laughs> you can use it as a Bluetooth music speaker. <laughs> I haven't tried the Bluetooth yet, Div. <laughs> I'll let you know if it works. I'll let you know if the music speaker functionality works. <laughs> oh my god. It's a fun lightsaber, for sure. For sure, for sure. But yeah, the porridge was pretty good. It was a good breakfast. We're just going through um, my trip. We're going through my trip to LA with photos. We just started, so... <laughs> uh, you don't eat breakfast, you woke up like an hour ago and it's four right now? Yo, that's, that's so relatable, Hunter. But make sure to stay hydrated and eat something later, okay? Haven't tried the others yet. I find that you tried the other parts of lightsaber. No, CJ. <laughs> I haven't tried them yet. Yet. <laughs> yeah, lightsaber. Yes, we will call them lightsabers. But yeah, oh my goodness. So since we lived in Korea town, we had we stayed next to a Korean supermarket, and there was so much soju on the shelves. Because back in Canada, we don't have alcohol just sitting in supermarket shelves, right? So w when I came in here, I was I was like, oh, that's a lot of alcohol. Oh my god. L look at all the different types of soju there are. <laughs> you got burger burritos you made, so you're good? Yo, that sounds very good. Very good. It has an alarm clock? Really, Div? I got a multi-purpose tool. <laughs> you could be a DJ and a Jedi. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, you might as well just call me Harry Potter next. With my magic wand. <laughs> we have beer only on supermarkets? Yeah, like we never see this much soju. I don't even think we have this at um the liquor store. You're used to alcohol and gas stations? Yeah, in Canada we don't have that. So that's why, you know, got all the photos. They have grape. They have like the six packs of soju. All the different flavors. And IU, the wife. <laughs> giant, giant box of IU. <gasps> Sam! Oh my god, how are you? How are you doing? Huh? What are you hawing about? <laughs> and then they also had individual soju bottles. Like, look at all the different flavors. They had grapefruit, because we don't have that. Um, they also had plum. They had pineapple flavor. They had melon flavor. And they had giant bottles of soju. Like, I think these ones down here, they were, they were like 18%, 20% alcohol content. I'm like, who, who, do you use this for cleaning? Like, do you drink it? When would you use these giant plastic bottles of soju. Also, hello, Marsh! Come on in, how are you doing? It's so good seeing you. <laughs> Hunter, you're two hours away from our border. It sucks here, who goes to liquor stores? <laughs> yeah, we have to go to liquor stores, apparently. Apparently. Drinking or marinade? Oh, okay. Okay, it makes more sense if you're using it for marinade then. If it's like 18%, 20% soju, that's not flavored. Ah, when wouldn't you use them? Well, I'm not an alcoholic like some of y'all, so I don't know when. I don't know when I would use them, okay? 
Sam, you're gonna be lurking because you're working on things? All right, sounds good, sounds good. Also, guys, I met up with Sam. I managed- I, I met Sam. I met the Samurai Badger in person, and he is just as amazing as he is online. <laughs> but I'll talk about that later. <laughs> just wanted to say that. Just wanted to put that out there before Sam left. Also, hello, B. Come on in. How are you? Now you want to move, but the alcohol will kill you. <laughs> now nah, we, we got alcohol here, you know. Maybe it's for the better that we don't live in LA. Or else the alcohol will actually kill us. Vodka, gin, other hard liquor, close to 40, so up to 28, bad. <laughs> Spoken like a true alcoholic, CJ. <laughs> but yeah, 20, 20 isn't bad. I'm just usually very sensitive to the ethanol taste. So that's why I, I really like grapefruit flavor. Because grapefruit soju just tastes like Sprite. Like on its own. I think that's why it's my favorite soju flavor. The lychee flavor also tasted really good though. But I think I think grapefruit's my favorite. You buy liquor and hope there's a use after you start drinking a little bit. 20% not bad at all. All of you guys. All of y'all are alcoholics. <laughs> yeah, I think I still have some um oops. I still have some unopened bottles of soju in my fridge. But it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, right, B. Grapefruit's so nice. I love, I love grapefruit. Oh my god, I hello, hello, how are you? Also, also, you saw me at AX? Did you did you see me at AX? How did you know it was me? Cause guys, I also was at AX. I didn't find out until afterwards. And then I messaged them and I was like, you were at AX? And then they're like, yeah, I saw you. I'm like, how? <laughs> How do you know it was me? <laughs> you, do you even know what I look like? <laughs> Hello? So last weekend, I had a total of like 36 drinks in the span of three days. Are you okay, Hunter? Is your liver okay? Hello? Also, hello, Fizzy. Come on in. How are you? Thank you for the hydrate and the stretch. You had a very specific vibe. What does that mean? <laughs> like, did you see me in cosplay? Did you see me out of cosplay? Yo, know, like, Eye's never seen my face before. I don't think I've ever done a face reveal for Eye. I've seen Eye's, fa like, face with a mask, because they've done, <laughs> they've done, like, immersion breaks, but I I'm still, I'm still shook. Like, how, are, are you sure you saw me? Are you sure it wasn't someone else? Like, what was I wearing? <laughs> I need proof here, Eye. <laughs> they just know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't know how I knew. Or how I was so confident they saw me. Also, hello Rose, come on in. How are you doing? It was just 12 a day. It wasn't bad, you barely got buzzed. Are you sure about that, Hunter? Are you sure? I I'm concerned. You don't want to dox? It's okay, it's okay. Um you can just I don't know, describe what I was wearing. Cause yo, there was actually so many people at AX. I think there were like over a hundred K people, so like the chances of Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. You can you can just share. <laughs> oh my god. I'm still shook. You're doing well just finish up with work. I'm glad to hear that. Don't mind me just vibing with good peeps. Nice to have you here, Fizzy. Glad to have you here to vibe with us. 12 a day is pretty bad and that's coming from me. Are you guys all just alcoholics? Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I should move on from this page then. Oh, well, look look at that! More alcohol! <laughs> yeah, just the close-up of more, more alcohol. Not an alcoholic heavyweight? Yeah, couldn't be me. I am very lightweight. <laughs> You just wanted to drink a lot for the fourth and that didn't do shit to you really and you were surprised but hunter i remember you you like regularly drink right so i'm assuming that your tolerance is pretty high up now so it makes sense that you weren't you weren't <laughs> you didn't get affected too much just be tall dear yeah i'm like average sized i don't i don't know 
I'm okay with being lightweight. You know, like alcohol's bad for you. You might as well just not, not <laughs> drink. <laughs> yes, Jenny. Jenny alcohol. You didn't take long enough of a break. Well, now you need to take a break. It's time for you to take a break. <gasps> egg, hello, hello. <gasps> My favorite egg, how are you? Thank you for the redeem. <laughs> how are you doing? Rose, you're extremely tall for a German girl. See, look, you got the jeans, okay? Like, don't Germans also hold their alcohol really well? You got the height, you got the genetics to drink. <laughs> lightweight to unite, yes, Karina, yes. We all just lightweights here. Except for Rose and Hunter, apparently. But yeah, they had like Hello Kitty sake bottles. I was like, this is so cute. So adorable. I love Hello Kitty. And just, just don't be a lightweight. Yeah, easy. Just don't. Just don't. Also, they had more Hello Kitty drinks. This was sparkling, sparkling rose. I think. Rose? Rose? I'm not sure. But, you know, just cute packaging. I am a weak... I am weak for cute packaging. Lightweight equals saves money. I know, right? Lightweight does mean saving money. You just drink one, and then you're like done for the night. You're like, alright, yeah, I'm having fun. I only needed to spend money on one drink, and we're done. <laughs> Germans are known for being heavyweights, true. Right? You were sparkling? Were you sparkling? <laughs> A vampire? Oh yeah, I saw this. I was like, what's maple soju? Because this is the giant bottle. Look at that, like 18.5%. Does it taste like maple? I don't know. When you're, when you're lightweight from a break, you still need five to get fucked up. <laughs> That's a lot. That's still a lot. Oh my gosh. Also, hello, support. How are you? Come on in. It's been a while. We're just sharing about my vacation. I got some photos and I'm here to share with y'all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, next to the Korean supermarket, there is a Tule Jour. I think it's a Korean bakery. So we just stopped inside and took a look. And they had some really pretty cakes. Like this one. The strawberry lychee cloud. Like look how delicious it looks. All these cakes here. They're so nicely decorated. They look so good. Look at that. Look at this. You good? I'm doing good too. I'm doing good. Gotta explore Cali a bit more so you didn't do much when you were there. Yeah, yeah. There's so much to explore. Like, I definitely didn't explore it enough. So, you know, next year I'll be back <laughs> for AX, hopefully. You're fucked up in general. No, CJ. <laughs> no. Hey, you're you're not allowed to drink, CJ. <laughs> you've drank enough. I think you've drank enough. It's it's time for you to to let off the step on the brakes a little bit. Yeah, the cakes look so tasty. Look at the piggy cake. They had like a red velvet, and then the berry cake looked really good too. So good. You don't even drink? Didn't you drink like a few days ago? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> next year? Yeah, definitely. I would love to go back to AX next year. It was so fun this year. And look at all the all the 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 bakery bakery stuff. I know it's so cute, right, Egg? It's cute just like you. But they had like strawberry cream bread. It had all these different pastries in the store and it looked really good. Drinking is fun with friends also exposed. Drinking is fun with friends. That's the only time I drink though. Oh, yeah. So I have you guys ever heard of Yoshinoya? Apparently it's like a Japanese like fast food chain. So they had one in LA and 
I went in with my friend because my friend wanted bubble bubble tea, well boba as they call it, um, and they had four dollar boba, and it didn't taste great, but I saw they had like these iced tea dispensers, and we don't really see that here. So I was like, oh my god, I need a photo of this. So they have like sweetened and unsweetened iced tea, and I'm assuming, um. It tastes like it's like the McDonald's sweet tea, right? Is it the same thing? That's a sweet tea you get from McDonald's. Yeah, boba is so good. I actually didn't get enough boba, but <laughs> I, I think I've only had like two or three boba when I was th there. Burger King has these too. Okay, well I haven't been to Burger King in a hot minute tofu. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, maybe maybe I'm just I just don't go out enough, but I was like, oh my god, I never seen these before. A photo. <laughs> okay, okay, I guess I'm moving on, moving on. <laughs> um, there was I've never seen this before. Okay, Starry lemon lime flavored soda. Do you know what it tastes like? Is it just Sprite? It sounds like Sprite. Have you guys seen this one before? You're gonna take me out for Whopper Wednesday? Yeah, just show me, show me those dispensers. Just gonna be like, show. It's time. It's time. Here are this the here are the dispensers. I'll be like, all right, cool. Now that I've seen them in Canada, we're we're good. <laughs> it's the Pepsi version of Sprite. Oh, okay. Well. I've never seen it before, so I was like, what's that? <laughs> okay, so that was that was it. And then we went to Disney. Yeah. <laughs> My friends and I, we went to Disney California Adventure. Yeah, we went to Disney Disneyland. Disneyland. If you can stomach McDonald's Sprite, you're scary. Isn't McDonald's Sprite like extra spicy? Or like extra carbonated because i've seen memes that um the mcdonald's sprite was just extra extra like bubbly disney yes i went to disney <laughs> you've been to disney and universal once i've been to i've been to the ones in florida before but this is my first time at the california disneyland but it was it was really fun it is and it tastes awful. McDonald's Sprite. Yeah, I've... McDonald's Sprite, you know, I only get McDonald's Sprite like once in a blue moon. So it's like whenever I drink it, I'm like, hmm, I think this is enough. <laughs> I've had enough. McDonald's Sprite is syrup, water, carbonation tanks. It's meant to be diluted with ice, but no one uses ice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't use ice either. But I didn't know that it was just syrup. Actually, no, I knew that it was syrup and water. Because most of those fountain drinks are just syrup and water. But like, what makes it so much more spicier than other fountain sprite places, right? But yes, we went to Disneyland. See the giant Mickey? Um, We actually just went in the afternoon. And I'm glad we did, because we ended up spending like a whole... 10 hours at the park still and we were tired we were so dead by the end of it syrup to water ratio is higher because they assume that the drink will have water ah so that's why that's why it tastes different mm, tofu is just spilling the fast food secrets here i see i see <laughs> but yeah in disney um once you get in the park and then they check your bags and stuff. They actually have a little like train thing that brings you to the actual park, which is really cool. It just like, and then the area that you board it, it's all like light LED lighting up. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. <laughs> so I took a photo. <laughs> Tofu knows too much. Tofu's teaching us the good secrets. Tofu really is. Tofu's got the insider info of the fast food industry. <laughs> Experts hate him. 
Oh, oh, also, also, I found a baby Yoda. So in Disney, we spent a while looking for like ears and stuff. So we took like an hour and a half. We spent like an hour and a half wandering all of the merch stores, and they had like a baby Yoda here. It's like a look, look at the baby. It's like wrapped up in a little blanket. Look at its little face. It's so cute. It's so adorable. You worked there in high school, you know, the dark secrets. That's true. That's true. Now, you know, you can get all Karen on them, too. You're like, all right, this this isn't, you know, according to the rules. You guys shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, Nom Nom. How are you? Come on in. How are you doing? I'm just sharing about my trip to Cali, to L.A., and we're at baby yoda <laughs> they also had yoda ears you know like the mickey headbands they had a yoda version of it um i did try them on and i looked very much like a gremlin in that photo <laughs> it was it was really funny and my and my friends were like oh the ears the ears look like they, they suit you i'm like no how how <laughs> Ain't no way. You love its little smile. I know, right? Look at the look at the baby Yoda smile. It's so cute. They had a lot of these blanket babies actually. Like they had Stitch version, they had Winnie the Pooh, um they had like Mickey and some other ones. Show us because you are a gremlin. No. Am I a gremlin? I, I don't think I'm a gremlin. I didn't think I was a gremlin. <laughs> Do I have gremlin energy? Apparently, I got the vibes that I, I recognized me. Is that so? Oh my god, is that unstable? Hello, hello, how are you? Come on in. Sharing about my West Coast adventures. Oh yeah, and this was, this was what the park looked like in the main area so you see this the clouds that's a that's just a wall it's a fake window wall because california actually has no clouds like i know i noticed this when i was there they it, like the skies just blue like this all the time i'm like why why does cali not have any clouds like i wonder why is it because they just is that why they don't have rainfall? It's just because they don't have the clouds for rainfall? From what I've seen and heard, you're definitely a gremlin. No. <laughs> don't listen to my friends. <laughs> I am I'm not a gremlin. Nah. It's just my ghost that actually passed. It's good to see you unstable. Glad to have your ghost with us then, if it's not you. You notice the sky dome? <laughs> Sky dome, huh? Sky dome? <laughs> Is it just the fake sky? Is that why? It's all. It was all a lie. You went to Disneyland. You've only been to Disney World in Florida before. Yeah, I've only been to Disney World before. So this is my first time in Disneyland. And we went to the California Adventure Park because I think um, we wanted to see the Spider-Man animatronic. But we ended up we ended up not seeing it anyway, which was really disappointing because we missed the showtime. <laughs> Cali is a desert. Is that why it has no clouds? Just because it's a desert? Is that why? Oh my gosh, Chise! Hello, hello, darling. How are you? Come on in. It's been a while. How are you doing today? I hope you've been well. <laughs> Callie doesn't have a real sky. They dropped it behind the fridge, so they had to install a dome to replace it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so that's so true though. Like the Cali sky is so blue, so nice. And and their golden hour was so long. Like I would just stand there and like take selfies because they had such a nice golden hour. Yeah, the horizon's really nice. I know, right? It's really nice weather. Definitely better than the heat wave you guys had <laughs> in East Coast. Oh, 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 also, I thought this was really cool. 
they had like um they had sketches they had an actual artist there drawing and slaving away while everyone would just like you know walk past them and look at what they're doing so you can technically you can technically commission sketches just with the disney artist slaving away in the background but i thought this was really cool disney sweatshop Ah, and and they also had a Avengers campus. So this was the Spider-Man store, I think. And then this was the inside of one of the rides. So um this ride, it's Spider-Man. You can see the Tom Holland Peter Parker here. And the ride essentially it would bring you so this was like a thing that you would sit in and then it would bring you through different screens and there would be sensors in front of you so on the screen um there'd be like a bunch of robot spiders that gone rogue and your mission is to use the webs to like capture them and destroy them so then you just um you just kind of reach your arm out you know like with the spidey hands and just shoot them in the screen and then the machine would keep track of your score, which is really cool. So, so you just basically, it's like motion sensor. So you just kind of go like, bam, 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 bam. And it would just count how many, how many like, robot spiders that it gets. So that was pretty fun. Um, actually, everything in Disney, the way they set up all the props and all the... I don't know, decorations, all the themes. It's definitely really, really nice. Like, I can see why Disney is a multi-billion dollar company. <laughs> They're really using their budget here. But yeah, this was the inside. You know, people getting in. My phone camera's not that great, but it's fine. They also had the Lightning McQueen area. Too bad everything at Disney is overcharged by like $30. I know... Yeah, everything there was so expensive. I don't think we really like got food there either. Because I know we got a turkey leg. And those turkey legs are huge. They're like the size of the size of your face. And it was definitely a team effort. It took like four people to finish a turkey leg. <laughs> Guido, best cars character. Is it is it Guido? Guido? Am I saying his name right? It's been a while. How much is a turkey leg? Wasn't it like $15, I think? Yeah, I think it was like $15. Also, hello, Kinos, how are you? Come on in. And Chise, new phone, who dis? <laughs> Thank you so much, though. Thank you for gifting egg sub. I hope you've been well. It's been a while. Guido? Oh, Guido. Guido. Yes. Okay, yeah, it's been a while though since I've I've watched Cars, but they had the the tire thing. It's not bad for a for a person snack. That's very true. Fifteen dollars for a giant turkey leg, <laughs> and it wasn't that bad either. It wasn't too dry. Yeah, it was a very juicy turkey leg. So, I'd say it's worth. I cannot with how you're saying my man's name, Guido. Instead of gu Guido? Is it Guido? <laughs> gu Guido? D am I saying this wrong? Guido? <laughs> okay, it is Guido. Okay, cries in Italian. I'm sorry. The only Italian I know is, is music terms, okay? I haven't watched Cars in a hot minute. <laughs> Are you guys going to make fun of me for pronouncing Italian names wrong now? <laughs> Don't cancel me, you guys. Cries in not Italian, but an Italian lover. Do I count as Italian lover? I, I do love my pasta. I do love my pizza. <laughs> 
too late. Consider yourself canceled. No, chat is canceling me. No, <laughs> sounds like Geiko the car insurance lizard. It does. Guido, Ge is it Geiko? Geiko? How how do you how do you how do you pronounce it? Cries in calzone. It's calzone, right? It's not calzone. Pronounce it as calzone. To it longer is already five hundred words long. <laughs> Rose is ready. Geiko? Wait. Oh. <laughs> am I just am I just reading things wrong again? It's my first day back and you guys are already finding words that I'm saying incorrectly. <laughs> Sam, you're going back to working on your car. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Geiko? Geiko? Ga Gu Guido? Geiko? Calzone? Calzona? Uh huh? Pronounce. Is it Archipelago? Am I saying things right? Is it Archipelago? I can't deal with this lurk now. Stop. At least you haven't butchered any German words yet. There aren't that many. English, like German loan words in the English language, right? Is it not archipelago? How did I say it? Sam! <laughs> oh my word, someone clip, please. Oh, what do you mean? Is it not? You just learned a calzone is a panzerotti? <laughs> Were you calling it that during the kitchen? Yeah, the golden apple archipelago. <laughs> How do I say it? <laughs> Was it? Is it not archipelago? <laughs> You're not going out to find Shohara all again. No. <laughs> Have a good stream. Thank you so much, Isay. Thank you so much for dropping by. It was good seeing you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I don't know why the way you say archipelago makes me think of something from Resident Evil. How? <laughs> Sam, no! <laughs> no tofu, no! <laughs> Adding this to the twit longer. I how how am I getting cancelled in a span of ten minutes? <laughs> Hasn't even been an hour of starting stream yet, and y'all are <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Consider your Whopper Wednesday hangout canceled. No. <laughs> Gu Guyana? <laughs> Sorry, unfollow, unsub, you cried, Marinara. You guys are telling me I'm saying archipelago wrong, but how do you say the word? Someone, please. <laughs> you have to tell me how you say the word then. Shows just that good or bad. I I don't know I don't know at this point egg am I just that good or bad I'm just that bad at saying words I'm a baddie <laughs> Oh my goodness <laughs> RK Pel Ar RK Pelago RK Pelago It's not Archipel RK Archipelago Ain't no way you're doing this by accident at this point, show. I'm not. It is by accident, Sam. <laughs> you guys are just picking difficult words for me to say. Archipelago? Is that how you say it? <laughs> Archipelago? <laughs> Someone jump a call and tell her how to speak. <laughs> English is difficult, okay? Let's change it to an easier word. Pronounce vineyard. <laughs> vineyard? Vineyard? <laughs> She'll just, you know, be able to pronounce. Yeah, clearly, clearly I am unable to pronounce words. Vineyard. Okay, vineyard. Who who decided that vineyard is pronounced vineyard? Who who decided that? <laughs> oh no, a nom nom. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, thank you for the uwu voice. 
<laughs> okay, all right. Let me do five minutes of uwu. <clears throat> uwu. Let me let me see if I got this uwu voice back. Uwu. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hat. English is hard. I'm telling you guys, English is difficult. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? I'm, it's Uwu Show. You can you can thank a Wom Wom for for the Uwu voice. I thank you for the hydrate, Sam. Thank you, thank you. I made it more difficult. How did I make it more difficult? Who who decided to make vineyard pronounced vineyard? Huh? Who who decided that? <laughs> English is so difficult. I I can't. Okay, I'm moving on in the slideshow. I, I don't know what other words are there for me to say. That that I I may or may not screw up. Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, you here's more cars. Um is this is this is this Ramones? 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 Now I'm scared to read different words cuz what if I just Butcher them. No, stop. What do you mean, no, stop? Is it Ra Ramones? Ramone? Ramune? Ramone? <laughs> okay, it is Ramone. Okay. <laughs> the Uwu is not helping like I thought it would. You, you're the one who redeemed it, a Wom Wom. You're the one who redeemed it. Okay. You got R Ramones? <laughs> Ramones in Uwu? Ramine? <laughs> I miss I miss drinking Ramine though. Ramine is so fun to drink. Okay, okay. Flows Flows Diner, Flows Cafe. See, it's like straight it's like straight out of the Cars movie. Doesn't it doesn't it look very very uh accurate to the movie? Fl flaws? No, it's flows. I'm pretty sure it's flows. Like flows diner, like F L O. I I think it's been a while since I've watched Cars. So if anyone, if anyone watched and remembers, can you confirm? <laughs> I think it was flows diner. But yeah, that was Cars World. Um, they also had like milkshakes. I saw people carrying around that were, I think they had like pink milkshakes and they also had like Oreo milkshakes and they looked, they looked really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was the car world. They had, they had this whole setup, you know, radiator springs, the tires. It all looked very cool, very straight out of, straight out of the Cars movie. It was, it was great. It was very great. Oh, and then there is this uh, Monsters Inc. ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had uh, this this setup. I think it was a prop where the snacks were just. I thought it was really cool. They had like zero calorie bag. I think this was. I can't read it from the side here. Pol poly polyvine chloride. Pol. Polyvinyl? Oh, polyvinyl chloride. Yes, polyvinyl chloride. Blort. Um, um, they also had sugar, salt, and fat. You know, it's very accurate. Very accurate. That's literally, literally every single chip bag out here. Show out here eating fake candy. Yeah, no. Uh, no, I, I, I this was just a prop. I, I did not eat fake candy out here. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what I don't know what polyvinyl chloride is. <laughs> and and uh, sinew. Am I saying the word wrong? Sinew chews sinew sinew delicious sinew filled chocolate bar. <laughs> she found out it was a prop the hard way. No, I didn't. I didn't. This was this was just behind a barricade. Okay, 
This was all behind the barricade. It was part of the it was part of the line. Sinew? Sinew? Is this Sinew? Oh, this was okay. No more Ulu. <laughs> um, this was for I think a flying ride. It was about airplanes or something. So they had like California aviators. Um, they had all of these here. I have no idea what it is, but I sent it to Sam and Sam got excited. <laughs> Sit sinew? Oh. Sinew. Okay, sinew. Not sinew. Sinew. The English is difficult. <laughs> yeah, Sam, airplanes. It was like a whole wall of airplane photos. Um, my camera did not capture what the text on the wall says, but there had all these airplane parts in the lineup, and it looked pretty cool. And I think the actual ride we went on, um, it was like a giant screen, and you sat on like the chair. It was like a 4D theater experience, so it would bring you through. Um, they had like a, I guess a video. That was probably shot through a drone. And then it brought you through like different areas of the world. And then like it flew over the plains. It flew like in the Arctic. You got to see like penguins and stuff. And it just kind of moved you side to side and like up and down. It was a very nice and relaxing ride. It was very fun. Is it time for a phone upgrade? It is time for a phone upgrade, Tofu. It is. I was actually considering getting the new iPhone when it comes out because it has the USB-C port. I'm like, I want to try iPhone. Because I never tried iPhone. Yeah. I don't know. It's still, still open to phone recommendations. Oh, and this was uh, the Pixar, Pixar World. So they had... This was, this was like a really nice view. They had like a Ferris wheel that wasn't a Ferris wheel. If you look closely, the carts, they have the tracks that just go like squiggly side to side up here. Just go around. Um, They had like a coaster here. They had a lot of lights. It's really pretty. iPhone is poopy. Is it? I haven't actually owned an iPhone before. I've just used friends iPhones before. So I don't know. You want to go back to iPhone, but it's kind of pricey. Yeah, iPhone is really pricey. That's the thing. You're, you're Samsung all your life. You just swap to iPhone and there's pros and cons, but big pro is face tracking for VTubing too. Yeah, that's also, that's also why I wanted an iPhone. Because I know VTubing has really good like face tracking with iPhone. And then I really like the iPhone camera because it's also like optimized for a bunch of apps like Instagram posting or like TikTok posting, Twitter. That's the thing. But I also, actually, I really liked Samsung and Androids for their expandable storage, but they don't make them like that anymore. So I'm like, is it is it worth? Like, I, I love Tachiyomi too, but I can always use my old phone to reach Tachiyomi. AirTags are pretty useful and Apple Watch too. I didn't know you converted to iPhone tofu. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't like Apple Watches. Apple Watches are ugly. <laughs> I don't usually wear, wear watches either. So I don't think Apple Watch would be uh, useful for me. Yeah, VTB and camera are best pros for iPhone. Yeah. And also iMessage. Because like once you have a bunch of people on iPhones, or like a bunch of people you know on iPhones, and you get like iMessage, you get like FOMO if you don't get... <laughs> iPhone sometimes. The face tracking for VTubing is all I will end up getting. It's an older one for tracking and that's it. Yeah, a lot of people do that too. They get like a at least an X, right? iPhone X for face tracking. You're in Pixel. I'm, I was just surprised because I'm like, wait, Tofu is advocating for iPhone? Because I know I know you have Androids, but when, when have you advocated for iPhones? Get a network storage and good data plan. You don't need to worry about photos again. You mean like storing it on the cloud? 
Yeah, I'm still not used to storing things in the cloud. I have like on my current phone because I have a expandable storage. I think I have over 4K photos that I need to clean up. <laughs> I'm a I'm a photo hoarder, a photo and video hoarder. You don't like how iPhones can't close all your apps at the same time. <gasps> they don't do that. There's no close all button. What? Wait, what? Hmm, that's that's annoying. You could get a network attached storage and run your own cloud drive from your house. I that that I feel like that would take a lot more time for me to figure out. <laughs> uh It's very techy. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> but or maybe I'll just get the iPhone with the highest storage, you know? <laughs> No close all button was the first thing you disliked when you got your iPhone. Yeah, I'd imagine. Because on Android, you're so used to all the close all buttons, right? So then you have to manually go through each one and swipe. That's annoying. Close all buttons don't do anything on phones now. Wait, really? So like, you actually have to go somewhere else to clear up memory? It matters in my heart, though. <laughs> Um, yeah, clearly I am living under a rock, so I don't even know. I don't even know what's... <laughs> apps close or suspend after third or fourth app, so all you're doing is closing the screenshot. Ah, I see. Okay, that's, that's good to know then, that if you forget to close your apps, it still doesn't really have an effect on your storage and battery life. <laughs> it matters in Karina's heart. True, true. <laughs> it's a matter of principle. Yes. Look at the, the giant Mickey. Giant Mickey Ferris wheel. Oh, there's also an aerial ride. It's actually really well made. You get a blurry phone photo here, but... Um, they played all the, like the Little Mermaid songs. You like sat in the, sat in a shell and just went around. Oh my God, Minty! Hello, hello. How are you? Come on in. Yes, I went under the sea, <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> Indeed, I went under the sea. And the animatronics were really, really crazy to see too. Cause like, they had um Ariel and Prince Eric. At different points in the ride and they're just there like blinking or like moving their heads and moving their mouths and it looked really realistic considering they're just robots it's, it's very uncanny <laughs> you're good how are you i'm doing good i'm doing good i'm doing even better now that you're here welcome welcome i'm just recapping my vacation with everyone with photos and um this is actually only the second day from disney <laughs> so we're just going through things but come on in i think this was this was the incredible coaster it was based off the incredibles and it looked really pretty at night because it would just light up yeah the incredible coaster but it's such a fun ride i don't know if you guys are fans of roller coasters and stuff but um, it was actually really comfortable. There weren't any hard stops or like, you know, jolting you around. Um, there were, I think there was one upside down loop and a lot of like side by sides. But essentially, I think the theme of the ride was you're chasing Jack Jack, like the kid. And it just zooms you really quick throughout well, as you try to catch up to him. And then there's like different scenes inside where Jack Jack is just doing random things like you know causing more chaos so it was, a it was a really good ride i really enjoyed it and a nighttime picture of the avengers campus it looked really cool it was like the hella helipad the landing pad i think from the movies um this was dr strange area did I see Tony Stark? I did not see Tony Stark. Tony Stark is dead. <laughs> Tony Stark is stunzo. 
I did not see him. Oh, Tony Stank? Wait, who's Tony Stank? <laughs> he died? What do you mean? He CJ, what do you mean? Why are you surprised? <laughs> my vacation sounds lit. It was lit. Yo, I haven't even gotten to the anime expo part of my vacation yet. <laughs> Did you not see the movies? There's a Stan Lee scene with package here for Tony Stank. Which which movie was that? I, I I haven't watched all of the movies, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> there was Tony Stank. Oh, Karina, you're gonna go now? Alright, sounds good. Thank you for coming by. And I no problem. I will keep you company any day. <laughs> is Iron Man 1 or 2? Oh, it's the first Iron Man. Okay, it's been a while. I haven't watched the first Iron Man. I think I watched it when it first came out. And that was like, what, 10 years ago? Oh my god, hi Lei. Hello, hello. How are you? <gasps> so good seeing you. Even though I saw you over my vacation too. <laughs> but how are you doing? We're just recapping um recapping LA trip right now. But yeah, you guys didn't know. I actually met Lei as well during the convention. Managed to see them twice. Got to see them in their cosplay. But it was it was good meeting Lei. Lei Lei's very cool in real life. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see Lay DDR IRL, but you know, next time, next time. <laughs> yeah, this was. Oh, they had a prop up here for like the Avengers, um, Avengers thing. My cosplays. Yeah, Lay Lay saw me in one of my cosplays, and then Lay saw me in normie mode. But I'm glad you you were able to catch me in cosplay. I'm glad I saw you in cosplay too. They had the Avengers. Uh, booth thing. And this was the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. This ride was... The wait time was like two hours. I think we lined up for one and a half hours at the very end of the day. So by the time we got out, the park was closed. But this was... I think they repurposed this one. It used to be like the Hollywood Tower of Terror or something. It was like a drop tower. So... Once you get in, they lock you in, and then the ride just shoots up, like immediately up, and then it just drops you like level by level, and then at each stop, each stop, they have um certain scenes that you see or like you know for entertainment, and then they drop you some more. It was a really fun ride. I could feel my I had like a fanny pack on, and I could just feel my pack like lifting up every time the ride dropped. And I was like trying to hold on to it. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> the ride's gonna gonna you know ruin my bag. <laughs> it was great. It was so fun. Oops. Oh no, I clicked out. Okay, where was I? Ah. Uh uh um. Okay. Okay. But yeah. So that was the day of Disney. Oh, and I found Wong. <laughs> But yeah, that was Disney. It was really fun. I was so tired by the end of it. Got some good rest. And the next day we went shopping. So I found Wong. I don't know if Wong's still here, but found all the different types of Wongs. They had so many different flavors of Pop-Tarts. They had like strawberry, wild berry, they had brown sugar cinnamon, s'mores, cookies and cream. They had like mini Pop-Tart bites, brown sugar cinnamon cherry it's like the most amount of pop tarts i've ever seen because in canada i feel like our shelves are just like two flavors it was very impressive cinnamon pop tart is the worst don't trust her i will i will i will trust you minty i actually don't like pop tarts I'm not a fan of eating Pop-Tarts. I think I've only tried strawberry flavor, but it's so dry. Like, I thought the inside, I thought it would be warm or like you could toast it. But no, it's just a cracker with like stuff inside. Pop-Tarts are a bit disappointing. They are so disappointing, Tofu. They're so dry. Cinnamon Pop-Tarts. <laughs> yeah. It's a tasty cracker. You have to have them with water. Really? 
yeah, I haven't had Pop Tarts in a hot minute, so I'm like, mm, guess I'm not eating them. <laughs> S'mores Pop Tarts slap after you microwave them a little, but only those. You can microwave Pop Tarts? Is that how you're supposed to eat them? Are you supposed to. Are you supposed to microwave Pop Tarts? To eat them warm? Otherwise, is it just like a glorified cracker? That's crazy. Microwave or toast, but make sure the foil is off. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're supposed to toast them and microwave them? Okay, maybe I've been eating them wrong this entire time. Maybe that's why I've been disappointed every single time. <laughs> oh, you microwave, you know, some toast. You're supposed to have them warm. Okay, well, if any of you guys ever get a Pop-Tart, can you, like, feed me one? Because I don't want to spend... I don't want to spend money on a box of eight Pop Tarts and end up eating one and hating it. <laughs> Even toasted cinnamon is bad, don't let chat fool you. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I will I will avoid Pop Tarts for now then. It's two dollars? Yeah, but I could buy something else with the two dollars. Like I don't wanna waste I don't wanna waste Pop Tarts if I'm not gonna eat like eight of them. If I'm gonna eat one and throw away the rest, I'd rather like, spend my money on something else, right? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly, like Kinder Bueno. <laughs> I'd rather spend my $2 on Kinder Bueno. <laughs> or oh yeses, right? <laughs> Kinder Buenos are really small. They are small. They are small. But yeah, this is my shopping day. We went to Target. Target. <laughs> went to Target. They actually have anime shirts at Target. I, I took a photo. I was like, oh, Demon Slayer? They also had, um, I think they had Boku no Hero. They had Dragon Ball. Yeah. I was surprised to see anime shirts. Because you don't usually see that normally. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the the jam sandwich? It's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, I tried making it, and it it actually slaps. Like CJ's onto something. <laughs> oh, we also went to Trader Joe's. You see, like we went to Target and then Trader Joe's. You know, we had the whole American shopping experience that day. Um, is this like a better Pop Tart? No, I just took photo of this because I thought it was. It was pretty funny. Strawberry walks into a bar. Um, they also had Trader Joe's version of Pop Tarts, cherry pomegranate. See, it's even fancy at Trader Joe's. Organic Pop Tarts, with cherry and pomegranate flavor. <laughs> I'm a blessing because <laughs> I tried your sandwich, CJ. <laughs> yeah you, yeah try it lay oh my gosh try it try it and let me know how it is <laughs> cherry pomegranate trader joe's they're not pop tarts guys they're frosted toaster pastries <laughs> they look a lot more appetizing than regular pop tarts it does look very fancy they're 3.99 are they 3.99 are these something else they might be something else but they look good. They look really good. But what did I get at Trader Joe's? Ah, I got the um, I picked up a chocolate, chocolate coffee bar, because I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, I also saw this, um, uh, donut looking chocolate cracker. Looks like the Frosted Animal Crackers Pop Tarts edition. I've never seen that before. I've never seen the frosted animal crackers pop tart edition. What? <laughs> oh, no, I clicked out. Okay. Okay. Um. 
yeah, so the area we went into it was actually the USC campus. So it looked very nice. A very nice campus with Trader Joe's, the Target, you know, some other food places around. And then, guys, we also went to Costco. We went to American Costco. I love Costco. <laughs> we went in. We actually, I actually had so many samples. I, I basically had my mini lunch there from all the samples they had. It was it was great, but um, I've never seen this before. I don't think they have this in Canadian Costco. They had a Meta Quest, like VR VR headset from Meta. Um, they also had alcohol. Like the next few photos are just Costco alcohol aisle, but they had giant bottles of alcohol here. Like, look how big these are. You had all the tequila, you had all the vodka, like Kirkland Signature Vodka. Look how big the bottles are. <laughs> but only for $12.99 too. Yeah, vodka, Costco vodka, tequila. <laughs> you were lurking, but you heard your favorite drink, so you had to come back just in time. I'm talking about the alcohol aisle at Costco. They also had. Like the Japanese whiskey. They had boxes of whiskey. They also had Hennessy. Like, they're like giant bottles too. More Hennessy. I've actually never tried Henny before. They also had um, Hibiki. Limit two per member, but this is only eighty bucks in Canada. I think it's like around one sixty CAD. So getting this here was definitely a steal. I I didn't get it. My friend did, but you know we we don't see this in Canada. <laughs> mm, Costco, I know, right? Look at look at the, how this entire wine section. It's just laid there. With giant bottles of wine just down the aisle. There are like four aisles of alcohol. I'm shook. Very shook. They also had poke bowls. Never seen them before. They had like wasabi poke. Never get too deep into wine. Wine yeah, I don't I'm not really a fan of wine usually either, unless it's like white wine. I'm more of a sweet drinker, you know? Like I drink alcohol for the taste. They also had mac and cheese. Yo, I, I really like I really like boxed mac and cheese. As bad as it is for you, there's just something about boxed mac and cheese that's just so good to eat. But yeah, this, this mac and cheese looked really good. And and this is the Kinder Bueno. <laughs> we found the Kinder Bueno kinder bueno section with the um how many counts 20 counts of kinder bueno bars <laughs> the boxes that cj gets <laughs> american costco do be wild and i know right yo i was i was so excited walking around in american costco it was great Is cj's favorite yeah we don't have these in canada either like i've looked i've looked in a bunch of Costco's where I live. And we don't have these. So I saw this. I was like, oh, I found them, CJ. <laughs> the wall of Bueno. Exactly. Well, it's like a half wall. But all the Bueno. CJ's favorite. <laughs> they also had Castella cake. They had like the packs of Castella cake. If I didn't have to travel or if I had more luggage space, I totally would have purchased the Castella and bueno but alas i only have limited space and this was before the convention too so i had to save room i also saw these i'm like what are what are conchas vanilla flavored fine pastry they look very interesting i don't know have you guys ever seen these before or like tried them before i think they're like they, they look american 
<laughs> they look American only. But yeah, I've never seen these before, so I thought I just took a photo. They also had crab snacks. With like actual crabs to crunch on, ready to eat, dried and seasoned. All the Asian snacks. They had shrimp cheeks. I have no idea what shrimp cheeks are. Like, where where on a shrimp are their cheeks? Like this? Like the, the head? Yeah, what are what are shrimp cheeks? <laughs> where on earth on a shrimp? Exactly, which cheeks? Like there there's no other cheeks. Is it just the head? <laughs> I can't tell. I don't know at this point. <laughs> They're crackers? Are they crackers? They look like they look like crackers, like crunchy. I don't know. Conchas are similar to melon pan and pineapple buns. Oh, I see. Actually, yeah, they do look very similar. Vanilla flavored fine pastry. They look good. Look very good. The shrimp heads are the cheeks. Do they just deep fry the shrimp heads or something? Is that how it works? I just took a photo because it was interesting. <laughs> uh, oh, they also had grass jelly. Man, looking at this is making me hungry already. I think it's just shrimp heads then. If someone wants to quickly look it up, what shrimp, shrimp cheeks are. But yeah. Grass jelly looks so good. I haven't had grass jelly in a while. Actually, no, I can't eat these ones though. It has peanuts in it. <laughs> but grass jelly looks so good. They also had they also had raboki. They also had Costco sized raboki. I was like, man, if they had this in Canada, I would totally buy this. Looks so good. I love raboki. Yeah, raboki. I wonder if they have it in um the Costco near you, CJ. You should try it. Let us know how it is. They also had shoyu ramen. More ramen packs. The bian o popo. La la poki, la poki, la poki, <laughs> la poki, la poki. Am I saying it right? <laughs> I feel like the more I say it, the more I butcher it. Oh, la poki. Okay, but guys, Costco, American Costco food court though. It's a lot closer, so I didn't say it. So I didn't say it right. <laughs> it was just a lot closer. <laughs> la, la poki, la poki, la poki. It's better. Okay. Okay, I'll get you to teach me how to say it later then. <laughs> but. Yeah, Costco food court guys, they have churros. Um, they also have they had like mango smoothie. They had chicken bake. And they had like chicken Caesar salad. You're gonna lurk hunter? Alright, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, the, the churros were so good. It was only 150 for a churro too. And here look this is how big they are. You get you get my arm in here, but we got like um this tastes like a frappuccino or like an ice cap type of thing. But this was the churro. This was the chicken bake. It's also really good. They're they're so big. Recession proof food, let's go, yes. The 150 Costco hot dog and soda combo. Mmm, so good. Recession proof. But yeah, look how big they are. <laughs> it's worth it. Worth it for the price. <laughs> it's great. I love Costco. 
Oh, also, um, back at our hotel, we were just wondering because it was attached to a shopping mart. Shopping mart, and um, I guess this person running the beauty salon, they worked with a bunch of Korean celebrities, I think. So they see like Jay Park, Gain, um, Dasom. These are really old stars, like older stars. Lee Jun Hyuk, Hyorin from Sister, Sister Soyu, more Hyorin again. You know, none of them. Yeah, they're. I think they're. I don't know which gen they are, but they're definitely older. K pop group for a minute. Brown Eyed Girls. You Kiss. Yeah. So I thought it was really interesting. So I just took a photo. Oh, and um, later that day, we climbed up to, I think it was a park. It was some kind of trail. Because I was assisting with one of my friends shooting a uh, Vash. So it looked really pretty. We got to see the sunset up here. Brown Eyed Girls 4 Minutes Sky in. Yeah, all the old stars. CJ knows them. It's okay. You barely know American stars. You expect me to know Korean stars too? It's okay, Rose. I don't expect you guys to know the Korean stars either. <laughs> oh, as much as K-pop is popular these days. Okay, now we're in the anime expo territory. <laughs> okay, let me let me go pee first, and then we'll get started on um the AX part of the trip. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's time for the highlight of the trip. <laughs> the anime. I have returned from PP time indeed. But um yeah, anime. They had all these blow up chibi dolls right at the front. So you know you could tell 
If you're wondering where Anime Expo is, you know where it is. Smack in the middle. This was Exhibitor's Hall. I got like a kind of quick photo of the setup. But they had like Bandai here. They had a Crunchyroll booth. They also had Pixiv there. They had a bunch of exhibitors in the industry there. It's really cool. Look how nicely it's set up. And look at all the people. <laughs> there were so many people there. And then the giant screen up here. Oh, is that from SAO? <laughs> I can't tell. I wouldn't know. Is it is it from SAO? <laughs> I guess there's a new season if they're promoting it. Or like a new game. But yeah. That a giant screen. It's very loud. You can hear like all the anime stuff. It's a very big hall. They also had a Pixiv Genshin Impact. Oops. Another season of movie is coming out. Yeah, because I got some freebies and they had like, they had some SAO promo stuff. So I think that, that sounds about right. Still run SAO. I thought the most recent show bombed. I don't keep up with SAO, so I would have no idea. <laughs> Apparently they do. They still run SAO, I guess. But yeah, they had a Genshin Pixiv um, booth where they got a bunch of Pixiv artists that drew Genshin and they just displayed their works here. It looked really cool. Like, look how pretty the art is. It's so nice. I love it. Looked at all the so much good art. It's so pretty. And the Ayato, the Ayaka. Oh, so good. And then, um, I think this was, was this official? Yeah, this was official art. Our Sumeru boys with Alhaitham, Kabe, Saino, and Tignari. They also had, I think it was like a pop mart. Yeah, I think it was a pop mart. I've never seen it before, so we took a look. But the displays were really intricate as well. Like, look how cute that is. Had all these figures. They're also really expensive. <laughs> I saw it. I'm like, oh, they look cool. Checks the price. Oh, never mind. I'm like, I, I'm not, I, I wouldn't collect it just for, you know, just because I'm interested in it. <laughs> look at these. So cute. So adorable. They also had League. They had like the blind box pop marts. Pop mart characters. I think this was the display case of all the League, league characters. <laughs> oh no, League. The League of Legends. They do look very cute though. But then again, they're like... Yeah. Yeah, League! It had like the leaked figurines. I guess they're all collectibles, but they had it in like the blind box, the blind boxes. So you get the gacha experience when you purchase them. They also had an otome game character section. So they had like all these standees. Um, I actually don't play any of the games. I just saw like. I just saw oh, Otome and I just went over and took a picture. And look at all these, look at all these handsome men, handsome men characters. <laughs> and they had Niji, so there was the animate um, 
they had an animate store in exhibitors. So we took a walk through. They had Niji coat hangers. They're all cardboard though. And I think it was like 20. How much were they? Yeah, $23 for a cardboard half cutout of Niji Ian. <laughs> men, yes, men. <laughs> Welcome back, Yuri. Yes, we we have Niji. They were selling Niji coat hangers at AX in the Animate store. Except it was like $23 for one. But they look pretty cool. They also had Noctix, the Noctix folder. This was when Yugo was still in there. They had Yugo in the folder. I'm like, man, this must have came out like pretty long ago then. Because they have all five of them here. Like, look how good they look. Ah, so good. So good. They also had Evangelion merch. Yugo, yeah, Yugo graduated. They, they are not in Noctix anymore. They're, I think they're in Indie now. They use the name unnamed. Yeah. But yeah, they had um, Evangelion, the drip, casual clothing Evangelion. They also had the Sukajan, Evangelion Sukajan. It's $500. But it's look how pretty they are. You just had a heart attack? Oh no, what happened, Rose? But look how pretty these jackets are. Um, they also had the standees where they're all dripped out. You were AFK in Minecraft to type something and the moment you tabbed out you heard S Does that mean there's an enemy? Does that mean you died? I don't know what that means. <laughs> but that sounds very scary, Rose. Look at their fashion. I love I love this collab. Oh, it's a creeper. Oh no, you're too OP to be one shot now? Okay. Okay, so you won't die. That's what matters. <laughs> you're still alive. Um, they had spy family. Spy family notebooks. It's very cute. They also had Haikyuu merch. It's like little coin purses with Haikyuu. They had so much merch there. It's great. It's also very dangerous for my wallet. Oh, guys. Also, also, they had Utapri. They had like a giant Utapri wall. Look at that. Because I think they had an event where um, they were showing the 3D, the 3D show for um, Utapri. Oh, what? Utapri-sama? It's one of the older idol, male idol animes. So, like, it's definitely a throwback. I think it came out 10 years ago. But they had a, a showing for one of their MMD, like, 3D model performances at AX. So they had a giant wall just promoting it. Yeah, right, Egg, it's been so long since Utapri. <laughs> Never cared for idol stuff? That's fine. That's fine. Definitely not for everyone, but I do like my pretty, pretty Ikemen idol boys. <laughs> uh, such a trip down memory lane. Oh, they also had a giant, giant kitty. They had a lot of these types of displays. So like there was Naruto, there was the Demon Slayer, like there was like a giant Tanjiro on display that you could take photos with. There are a lot of photo oppable things. Oh, and they also had the link click panel. So um I don't know if any of you guys watched Link Click, but the season two is coming out. And they had a panel at AX that premiered. So I went to that. And it was it was amazing. I got to see the first two episodes of season two. It was so good. 
Oh, they had a FGO station. They also had Amoga Spider Man. They also had an Arknights booth. <laughs> you hate it? <laughs> the the Arknights no no the Spider Man, Amoga Spider Man. <laughs> um they also had Arknights booth. They also had a Studio Ghibli booth. Amoga Spider Man is a crime against humanity. <laughs> hey, it's it's very with the times, you know. After the Spider Verse movie came coming out, they had to have a Amoga Spider Man. <laughs> but they had a Totoro. They had someone dressed in a Totoro suit. Studio Ghibli. And they also had a cat bus that you could take pictures with. It's really cool. Yeah, the Ark Knights booth. Um, at the actually at Hoyovers and Ark Knights, actually a lot of the booths they hired cosplayers to um to booth there and you know be the characters, which is really cool. There were a few people, um. There are a few people cosplaying Arknight's characters at the booth. Oh, also, they also had a giant Heaven's Official Blessing photo op in the hall. You guys read the, the BL, the Chinese BL. Also, the standees. More Heaven's Official Blessing. And the link click standees. And also link click. <laughs> you can tell what I like <laughs> based on the things I, I take photos of. The link click. This was what it looked like from the outside. So like when you were driving past on the highway and past the convention center, you just see Anime Expo. They also had a giant Jujutsu Kaisen um, mural here. I forgot how popular BL is. Are you are you a fan of BL, Rose? Do you read BL? But yeah, the Jujutsu Kaisen with the giant Gojo. Oh, they also had a Star Rail train set up in the lobby, in the general hall. It looked really cool. You don't read it, but you have a specific type. What's the specific type you enjoy, Rose? Hmm. We can talk about it. But yeah, they had a giant, like, star rail, star rail train, which is also really cool. At some points, um, they actually brought the cosplayers they hired out to the train, and then there'd be, like, a giant crowd of people just taking photos of the cosplayers. It was pretty cool. Femboys and Twinks could never get behind Muscular BL. That's that's a lot of BL though, Rose. A lot of the BL, it's like thin or like ikemen. It's not like the super muscular um bara characters usually. Oh, they also had a McDonald's and Webtoon collaboration. <laughs> BL, yes. Yes, CJ. What about BL? <laughs> I know you don't read BL. <laughs> Are you interested? The only issue is I feel like they don't do it right. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> okay, all right. But yeah, they had a McDonald's webtoon. Um, they actually had a giant grimace. I don't think I took a photo of it, but um, this this was just for freebies. Like you get a pin out of it, you get a poster out of it, and you take photos. Because as we were lining up, the people working there, they're like, no, there is no food here. It's just photos and like freebies. Because apparently a lot of people were like, is there, are they serving McDonald's here? Are they serving food? <laughs> Lines up, gets disappointed that there's no food. <laughs> like all those sports animes, you don't care enough about sports to sift through them. 
I don't care enough about sports either. I just like watching sports anime for, I guess, the BL aspect of it, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Sports animes are fun to watch. You don't have enough, you don't have much experience reading them. Yeah, I don't think you've read very many BLs, have you, CJ? Wait, really? Wait, really what? What? No, I don't only watch sports anime for the BL. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's not just for the BL. The BL is just a, a part of it. <laughs> it's just fun. It's fun. It's fun to watch sports anime. No, CJ. <laughs> if I need to borrow a fanboy for something, I can lend you mine. Hello? Hello? <laughs> no. I don't I don't watch sports anime just for the BL. Okay. Because most of the time, they don't even have the BL. No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they had... Okay, back, back, to the, back to AX. Oh, they also had um, the whole staircase with the, with the characters. I think this is their OC they made for um for AX. Oh I oh I do know about Paul, yes. <laughs> your femboy, yes. Your resident femboy. They also had um Kuromi and My Melody booth. I don't think I came back to check this out, but I thought it was really cute. So I took a photo of it. They also had Paradox Live. Yo, I love Para Live. Have you guys do you guys have you guys heard about Paradox Live? They're making an anime of it. It's like a I guess it's like a virtual like singing rap battle originally, but now they're making an anime out of it. And I really like this group, like BAE. I think Kuroneko voices An. I think that's her name. And then this character's I think half Korean, supposedly, and this guy's just Japanese, but the music's really good. <gasps> Karma, hello, hello, how are you? Come on in. It's so good seeing you. Never heard about it. It's another like rap singing group with pretty characters. So if that sounds interesting to you, then when the anime comes out, you should check it out. Look at all the standees. They have so many standees here. It was great. It was so good. Doing good. Playing Valor with some friends right now. Hey, sounds good. Good luck on the games. We're just recapping my trip and I'm just sharing photos from the trip with everyone. It's great. Oh, also they had a V Shoujo booth at AX. So they had like life-size cutouts of um I think this is Henya. And I don't recognize- is this- is this Melody? I don't recognize that VTuber. <laughs> but I saw cute VTuber cutouts, so I took a photo. Is it Melody? Okay, it is Melody. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. AX? Oh, AX is Anime Expo. Yes, it's actually- I'm pretty sure it's the largest in North America. Or at least on the west coast, the largest in the west coast. But yeah, they look so cute. It's actually so small. Henya was so small. But they had the V Shoujo booth. And and um I saw this at the store. I didn't take a I didn't buy it, but it was I took a good poop today. <laughs> I thought it was a very cute shirt. I love it. There was also another shirt that was like, I didn't poop today. I didn't take a photo of that one, but it's, I think it's very, very relatable. <laughs> I couldn't wear that as a girl. I legally can't poop. <laughs> yeah, actually, girls don't fart and girls don't poop, you know? <laughs> it's just not a thing. Nothing like a good poop. Exactly. You know, like... you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but that was that was a really cute shirt. 
Actually, from the store, I purchased a. I purchased two tote bags. I purchased a taco tote bag and a mackerel tote bag. They're like reusable shopping bags. They also had this one piece, um, one piece inflatable thing that you could take photos with. That shirt is a mood. I know, right, Lay? <laughs> I took a good poop today. <laughs> it's great. Oh, they also had um, this figurine thing from Boku no Hero. They somehow suspended All Might. And then I don't know who this character was, but it was at the Crunchyroll booth. It was pretty cool. They also had a giant Naruto and Sasuke mural. A giant Ultraman figurine. Even though I'm not into Ultraman. Oh, they also had a Yakuza um, booth. So back here, I think they hired some cosplayers. And then it was like a photo op. So you could pick a weapon and then pose with um, pose with the cosplayer and be like a fighter. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it was all for one. <laughs> yes, it was it was all for one. <laughs> Uh, haven't watched, I haven't read Boku no Hero in a hot minute. Oh, they also had a Disgaea booth. Is it Disgaea or Disgaea? But they had a Prinny. It looks really derpy from the front. I don't think they're usually from the front, but they had a giant life-size Prinny. You wanna play Yakuza? Yo, you should, Rose. Next time it goes on sale, you should definitely play some Yakuza. It's great. Yakuza's so fun. I need to play more Yakuza. <laughs> oh, they also had Grand Blue Fantasy. Big display for Grand Blue Fantasy. Also, the thing with a lot of these booths, they give so much freebies. The only condition is like you have to take a survey. So at some point, I think on like day three, I would just went around these booths. And if there's something free, I'd be like, okay. Like, I'll take the survey. It's just the survey. They're just collecting my data and I'll get the freebies. So I got so many reusable bags as freebies. I got a lot of stickers. Um, I got some pins and like keychains. It was great. It was so fun. <laughs> just going around collecting free things. Because, you know, you already paid for this with the ticket, right? <laughs> so you might as well just take advantage of the freebies. <laughs> He wants to try the new Grand Blue game. It's a fighting game. Yeah, I think it is a fighting game. I, I'm i not sure if it's an MMO. I didn't try out the game yet, but the characters look really pretty. Like, I really like the art, art style here. More Arknights. Arknights booth. Um, I think this is... Is this a zero lane? I'm not sure. But this was at the Yostar booth. Pretty sure it's a zero lane. Um, more Arc Knights. Life size Arc Knights cut out. Yo, I love the outfit here. Are these the alt? Is this Gabiel? Is this the alt outfits? They're so pretty. More Arc Knights, I think. Wait, no. That doesn't look that doesn't look like Arc Knights. A Zerling? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Just pretty girls. Pretty anime girls. Ooh, they had a Last of Us um display. Which is pretty cool as well. I don't know if anyone's watched Last of Us. I have not yet <laughs> watched her play Last of Us. As I say, God, I love women. <laughs> women pretty. We love women. They also had a Mori cutout. Mori Kali... Is it Mori Ka Kaliope? Mori Ka Kaliope? But yeah, they had a life size. They had a cardboard cutout of her at this booth. And then they also had a Mori PC. And like a wall scroll. And merch. Is the rosary drawing of Mori? 
I, I have no idea who that is, Slay, but it's very pretty. I thought it was very pretty. <laughs> Calliope? 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 Okay. But yeah, it was really very, very pretty. Very nice. She's a cracked artist. Yes. Got the Mori PC case. Mori merch. Desk mat. Yeah, that's some really pretty art, though. I, I believe it when you say she's a cracked artist. You find Mori funny at times? Could never get into her music, though. I actually haven't watched much Mori to, to uh, make an opinion of her. Yeah, this is the Hoyoverse. This was the Hoyoverse booth. There were actually so many people. Um, I know they were handing out like the Paimon balloons. I don't know if you can see it here. I didn't pick one up though. But they had the merch store at the back. They had, um, they had like areas to take photos. And there was one area where you could pretend to be Paimon or like self-insert your face as Paimon. It's pretty fun. Oh, they also had FGO. The FGO tank truck that you could take photos with. I'm not an FGO player. I know Wong plays FGO. But that's about the extent of how much I know about it. They had Seba. Seba cut out. Wait, CJ, do you play FGO? Yeah, Seba. I was like, I know this character. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> you just know about it too, like me. <laughs> and then I don't know who these characters are, but they were in the back. I don't know if they're new characters. You watched a bunch of the Fate State animes and movies. Oh, okay. I need to watch more of them too. Because I think I've only watched Fate Zero. And then I think I'll watch a bit of Fate Stay Night. It's the Seba, yes, Seba. Fate State. Oh, un Unlimited Blade, Wor Blade Works was one of the first you watched. Oh, that's a classic at this point. I think I watched only a few episodes of Blade Works. But I think I. Yeah, I, I really liked Zero, Fate Zero. That was good. They also had a little, like, sword. No, because King Arthur had a sword in the stone with a bunch of other props. And then I saw a little, little mini Bowser cosplay. It was really cool. Like, look at that. Look how well made it is. You have all the armor and stuff. Right? It's so cool. So cute. So cool. I love it. <laughs> You love it too, Rose. Yeah, it's so good. And oh, we also visited the Grove. Um, it's just very aesthetic shopping place. And I think it was at this place where like, you know when you hear about LA influencers or like people that live in LA, they have this certain look in it, look to them. I saw a lot of them here. I was like, ah. These people look like they live in LA. <laughs> but this is a very aesthetic coffee shop. And, and, and on this day, guys, I met up with Sam. I finally got to meet Samurai Badger as well. So on this trip, I met Lei. I met Sam. I met Alyssa and Silent. Um, I think that's all the online friends I met from VTubing. I could have met I, because I said she saw me from afar. I'm like, girl, how do you know it's me? And she's like, it's the vibes. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, she's never seen me before. She's only heard my voice and seen my model. <laughs> but yeah, I met Sam. We had ramen. I had some tsukemen. It was great. It's very yummy tsukemen. 
And then we went to round one. So round one is a arcade in LA, and they they have a lot of um like the Japanese rhythm games as well. So we found a boba boba vending machine. If you zoom in, so I guess you like choose the boba, and then you like click choose it from the screen on the side here, and then it just vends out the bottom. So I thought that was really cool. We never see these. Yeah, we went on a round one trip. There was Dance Around. I've never seen Dance Around before. It looks really cool. They also had Dance Rush. Which was like the one that you always see on TikTok with people shuffling. Um, Yeah, I tried Dance Rush. I don't know if it's just because I'm not used to the UI and all that. But it was actually pretty hard. Like, I don't know how people managed to make Dance Rush look cool and good. Boba's overrated, Booba is much better. You like Boba's really good. Boba is really good. We do love Boba and Booba, yes. But yeah, Dance Rush, like everything in there is so bright because of all the lights. And it was really loud too because the music, but the vibes were good. It was so fun. I had a lot of fun at round one. It's really fun and more casual dance game. Ah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm so used to like DDR and pump where you have to hit the arrows that I wasn't as used to like the freedom you get in Dance Rush. Because if you look here, the Dance Rush pad, you just have like left and right and it's all just like a giant pad with lights on it, right? As a booba purchaser, I can confirm both are good. <laughs> yes, both are good. And they had like these rhythm games as well, where you go around and hit the circles. Like these ones, they're so fun. They were really fun. <laughs> and they had claw machines, which I didn't play because I don't trust my skills in claw machines. So I just spent all my time playing, um, playing rhythm games. And this was Sam. I played a racing game with Sam and obviously Sam got first. He got first victory and destroyer. You know, truck driving, truck driving sim confirmed. <laughs> Sam is confirmed. OP. Truck driver. They also had a game here where um, you didn't have to hold back on Sam like that. <laughs> no, I was I was struggling. I I don't usually play race car games, so when I turned the corner and stuff, I'd just be crashing into the side or like, you know, bumping everywhere. Clearly, I'm not as experienced as Sam. <laughs> Sam does play a lot of racing games. He does. So you know, I'm like, all right, let's go, Sam. I got to witness Sam in the flesh. You know, racing. <laughs> it's great. It was so fun. Um, What's this? Ah, yes. This game had like a VR headset as well. I'm like, I've never seen this before. But round one was really fun. Um, I didn't picture it here, but we also ended up doing Purikura, which is the Japanese photo editing thing. So essentially they... Um, you like go into a booth with your friends and then it takes a series of photos where you can pose and all of that. And then once you're done, you go out the other side and you can edit your photos. So you can like make your eyes super big. You can draw in your photos. You can like add cat ears to yourselves or something or like write text on it. And then it just prints it all out. So you get a little like photo sheet for memories. So it was pretty fun. It was great. Round one was great. I would, if I, not if, if when I go back to LA, I definitely would want to go to round one again. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the food, food area at AX. Everything was super expensive, but um, they had a lot of stalls here. LA Musubi. They had a lot of grilled meats, some bao. 
They also had a Hello Kitty truck. It was like a Hello Kitty cafe. Um, they had like some Hello Kitty merch you see here on the sign. It's very cute. <gasps> hello, Koo! Hello, hello! How are you? <gasps> thank you for coming by! How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I am! Thank you, thank you! I'm just doing a trip recap with all the photos I took at AX and in Cali. But how are you doing? Ah, uh, yes. And this day, I think this was day three or day four. It was shopping day. So I went through Artist Alley, to, you know, took a few photos. Of course, they had a giant plush pee pee. Please do not touch my tip, just tip. <laughs> you love seeing trip tri tri recaps? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Had a lot of a lot of trip recaps here. <laughs> But this was an artist alley. What was the name of it again? The which one? The 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 plushie? I don't know if there's a name for the plushie. It's just the pee pee. <laughs> um. Yeah. I I also took photos of of cursed items, like this. I don't know what this was, but it looked very cursed. It was on a body pillow, so I took a photo of it. Also a Vash. And then the booth next to it... Oh, they're called Ding Dings! Okay, yes, it was a Ding Ding. <laughs> but this booth also had like booties. Wait, this one? The booty, the fruit booties. <laughs> yeah, look at it. There's like the mouse pads, the booty mouse pads, the fruits, the fruits with the booties. <laughs> That's great. I know, right? That looks so cute. <laughs> yeah. They also had a tied up Gojo, tips for Gojo Bail. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. They really tied them up nicely too. With like, you know, dollar bills. They had handcuffs <laughs> with the Gojo cat. It's pretty great. Also, also Gojo tips, mentally ill Gojo. With a tip box inside. Tip the prison realm. Just have him here. It was a good time. Also got some cursed posters. Link, laugh, love. Home decor is my passion. <laughs> it's time to eat. You know, Kirby with the pancakes. It looks a lot like CJ, you know? <laughs> Life is hard and you did your best. You tried. <laughs> I love these posters. They're amazing. They I think they ran out of their business cards, so I had to take a photo of them, but it's iconic. Oh, and they also had an Al Haitham body pillow. I had to take a, I had to take a photo of this one too. Look at that. <laughs> and they had a Genshin food booth. There's a, always a long lineup whenever I passed it, so I never really tried it. But I think it was also pretty pricey. As expected. Like every, Everything food related at a convention is always pricey. But it looks really cute. No, I'm a, I'm a sucker for cute things. <laughs> if there wasn't a line, I probably would have purchased from it. Um, they also had a Persona 5 stand booth thing. Where you could build your own... I think it was either ice cream? Yeah, I think it's build your own ice cream. Persona 5 themed. 
Oh, that looked pretty cool. And then we also had KBBQ. So we went to this one Korean barbecue place in Koreatown. I think it was highly recommended because a bunch of um, Korean celebrities also went there, like BTS. Um, they also had a wall of all these signs like Jenny, Jisoo from Blackpink, Jackson Wang was there, Lisa, Suho, Tanyeol, Rain, Jungkook, Jungha, you know, there's so, so many Korean celebrities there. So I think that's why there was a really long wait time. So we went in the middle of the day and it was, it was not bad. Like they actually just cooked the food for you. As a fellow sucker for cute things, I feel your pain. I know, right, Rose? There's too many cute things out there. Too many cute items out there. Not enough money to buy everything in the world with the cute things. But yeah, the food was really good. This was the food. With the grilled meats in the middle. All the side dishes. And then we also got beef tartare. I like my raw beef with the egg and then the pears on the side. It was really good. I think it was a, a meal well spent, for sure. And then we went to H Mart. Um, they had, they actually sell whole coconuts. I was so surprised to see this. They had like coconuts that you can just stick a straw in there and drink the juice out of, like the coconut milk out of. I think I've never seen this before. The food looks so good. It was really good. Yo, the Korean food in LA was so good. Oh, not pictured, but we got takeout. We got the Korean marinated crabs as well. Like everything had such long wait times. So we ended up just getting takeout for half the things we ate. <laughs> but it was so good. Yeah, they had coconuts that you could just stab in and drink out of. Um, they have Hello Kitty tissues. <laughs> um, we also got pink pineapple. I, I never knew that pink pine pink pineapple was a thing, but they taste they taste really good. I I'm a big fan of pineapple in the first place. It's so refreshing, but pink pineapple was like extra sweet. I think those crabs are your favorite. Yeah, th like they're my new favorite too. <laughs> I would love to eat more more of the Korean marinated crabs. It's so delicious. They also sold sashimi with like uni in the middle at H Mart. I'm like, I've never seen this before. Actually, everything I've took a photo of, I'm like, I've never seen this before. This is so cool. <laughs> also, they had mint chocolate soju. I did not try this, but I saw it and um, I'm like, huh? <laughs> Mint chocolate soju? Like people drink that? <laughs> I wonder if it actually does taste like mint chocolate. It sounds gross though. Oh, oh, oh. There's also these sake jelly shots, which are really good. If you guys live in the States and like have these around you in the stores, I highly recommend them. It's it's like a soft drink type. Like it's really sweet. Um it has a jelly inside, so you have to mix them a lot just to break up the jelly. And then you like open the can and then you can just drink it and eat the jelly. It's it's really good. I think it's one of my favorite I think it's one of my favorite alcohols that I'll drink. It's worth it. It's very very much worth it. We also went to Mellow Mellow, which is a coconut. Oh, that's the hall. Um, Mellow Mellow is like a coconut jelly pudding dessert place type of thing. It was also really good. I think I included photos of this at the end. Screwdrivers are your favorite? Screwdrivers. What do you mean screwdrivers? <laughs> oh, also, also went ham on the artist alley with the haikabe. So you can see, 
You can see the hall here. You have some cave. Um, you have you have some a uh, high them high cave here. Oh, it's alcoholic drinks, vodka, and orange juice. Wait, they call them screwdrivers. Wait, why would they call orange juice and vodka screwdrivers? That does sound really good, though. It sounds like something. I think I've tried it before. I'd drink that. I'd drink something like that. But yeah, this is the hall. This is this is the AX Artist Alley Hall. Sweet sweet cocktails are what you prefer. Screwdrivers, mimosas, tequila, sunrises are pretty good. Have I had mimosa? I don't think I've ever had but anything you've listed there, CJ. <laughs> I've never had a mimosa. I've never had a tequila sunrise. I don't even know what they are. Like what type of alcohol, what they're mixed with. <laughs> they sound tasty. Bottomless mimosas in the morning? Yeah. You've had bottomless mimosas in the morning? Should I be concerned with this information, CJ? Are you just morning morning drinking? Daytime drinking? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, but yes, here's the Haikave haul. We I got um some Al Haitham here. Got some casual Haikave. The standy Haikave chips you just got back from getting alcohol you got more alcohol cj <laughs> wait what did you get we still got these plushies um hi kave here there's a magnet that attaches them together it's really cute got more keychains some genshin prints and more genshin keychains it's like a whole shrine at this point. <laughs> oh, this was the pink pineapple. It's very, very yellow photo from hotel lighting, but it was really good. Oh, and this is the best, best omu rice I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Um, it was at Red Rock and I got the omu rice. There was hamburg steak on the top. And inside was garlic rice, because you had the option of choosing between garlic rice and ketchup rice. Oh man, it was such a big portion too. It was so good. It was the, actually the best almond rice I've ever had. <laughs> yes, I don't think you want to know. I kind of want to know, CJ, what, what alcohol you got. Are you drinking today? Is that why you got it? Or are you just stocking up? Huh? <laughs> but yeah, they're so good. Also got um boba from Seven Teas. It's actually really good boba too. It was a lot of boba. Like I think their cups, their regular size cups are just slightly bigger than the ones we have here. Or at least it felt bigger. Um and then we went to Daiso. I also kinda went a little ham on Daiso. They had this emergency water bag, ideal for transporting water in times of a disaster. I'm like, when do when do people have the need to bring water around? I guess you need it in Cali, maybe? I don't know. But I thought it was interesting. Um, we also went back to Trader Joe's, so they had yuzu hot sauce. Simultaneously spicy and, and citrusy fragrant. Yeah. If I liked spicy, I would have tried it, but I don't. <laughs> they also had lemon pesto sauce. Which I kind of want to try. I didn't bring it back with me, but I kind of want to try the, the lemon pesto sauce. It looks really good. And this is the, this is the entire haul. From Artist Alley, I got back and I took photos, but um, I got 
the Arcane Jinx poster. Also got, why is it called a restroom? I'm, falling, I'm fighting for my life in here. <laughs> got it to match, because I know uh, Alyssa got one for CJ and Div, and I saw it, I was like, oh, I want this too! So, I have one now. It's a war ground, it is! <laughs> <laughs> Both of y'all. Especially if you're lactose intolerance, right? Like the sticker here. You and milk, it's complicated. <laughs> um, I also got a small poster here. Small live. My El Haitham. Got a capybara with some boba. Hello, Alpha! Come on in! How are you doing today? It's been a while. I got some... Alhaitham. Some Howl. Howl's Moving Castle. Also, hello, Alex! Oh my goodness, how are you? Come on in! That is not an avocado. That is not an avocado. It is an olive. Small live. I think it's a Pokemon. Doing good, just having dinner before dessert. Yum! Well, I hope you enjoy your dinner, and I hope you enjoy your dessert afterwards. Yeah. And then here are the keychains I got. Um, and some stickers. I got some free Hololive stickers here. I know Kurone. And then I don't know the other two. <laughs> um, I also got... It's kind of hard to see. I don't know how well you can see it here, but... Got a Scara Trauma Squad banner thing. We got... My friend gave me a Genshin sticker they made. And then I also got a free Tears of Themis sticker. Because this one girl, she had a whole bag of um, Tears of Themis. And I was like, oh, I really like your bag! And she's like, oh my god, let me give you stickers because not many people like, like the series. Or like, like this game. I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> too many things, aren't you broke? I am broke, Alex. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm too scared to look at my um, my expenses after this haul. I really went all out on this trip. <laughs> I got so many things. I also got some ORV cards. Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. Got the Al Haithams. Oh my god, funny thing is, when I went to purchase the Al Haitham stickers, I was like, can I get Al Haitham? And there's like three different versions, right? There was this Al Haitham, there was shirtless Al Haitham, and then like this shirtless Al Haitham, but with a shirt. Or like, minimal clothing. So then the artist was like, which Al Haitham do you want? <laughs> Please specify. <laughs> Mm. Oh, this was a really cursed Kirby Kirby feet pin keychain. Feet keychain. And then I got this hamster. It's like the uwu finger pointing hamster. I got this from uh, Gacha. Because a lot of artists had they had, like, gacha keychains. Like, they had a little gacha thing, and you can purchase the amount of rolls, and then, like, spin the thing to get their keychain from the gacha. So it was really, it was really cool. I spent $7 on that. <laughs> mm. Got some more Genshin. Also got some... Oh, this artist who drew the Sailor Uranus. Her name's Cherry Yuki, and I've been following her account for the longest time. So when I saw her art, I was like, oh my god, I need to buy the art. It's It's been a while. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen, I've seen this artist in person. I have to get something from her. So I came out with that. Oh, I also got um, the taco tote bag and also a mackerel tote bag from omana shop they're so cute it's like an actual octopus 
And if you pull it out, the inside of the bag has like these prints on it. So like the taco has the suction cups and the mackerel has has a little fish thing on it. Um Ooh, I also got this print from Sarah Fleur. It's so pretty. But it was also so expensive. Because it has foil on it. So this part is like holographic. It's actually a pretty big print. But I saw it. I'm like, pretty art. And she also signed it for me. So I got a signed print from her. So I'd say it's a pretty good purchase. I love it. Also got a link click poster for free. And some Heaven's Official Blessing postcards they were handing out. And I got a little bag from um, Yokai Sekai. That was also a good purchase. But yeah, this was the entire haul. I think it's the most I've ever purchased at a convention. <laughs> Oh, but it was it was good. It was a good time. Oh yeah, here's a close up of some of them, some of the stuff. Sam, thank you for the unshrimp. Oh, um, if you guys watch Hell's Paradise, I think is this from Hell's Paradise? I actually don't know what this is from, but my friend took a photo of it. It's a it's the booth setup. Oh, it is from Hell's Paradise. Okay. Have you guys watched Hell's Paradise? Is it worth watching? I think it's pretty good. You read the manga too. Okay, yeah, because it was pretty popular. Like, Crunchyroll had a booth on it. I think I saw a few cosplayers as well. Mm. Are they promoting it? Because there's a new season coming out? I don't know. But this is the booth. Oh, we also got Honey Me. So this is like soft milk ice cream. And then this one's on the left is Yuzu. Yuzu flavor, and then the one on the right is matcha. Yeah. It was really good. And then it has like honey drizzled on it. So then as you eat it when it's cold, you like you like spoon it out, you get to see the little honey threads just like kind of attached to your ice cream. So it gets a bit messy, but it's really good. First season just ended like last week. Ah, oh, okay. Should we add it to the list? Maybe. We'll watch it eventually. <laughs> Maybe I should just read the manga at this point. There's too many things on the list. Oh, this is the bag I got. So I got the taco. And then I got the one on the far right. But this is what they look like on the inside. The cute, cute reusable shopping bags. Yeah. But um, I think that's all the photos, actually. Oh wait, no, there's more. Okay, I definitely skipped up. What is my drive doing? Eto. Oh, okay, this was Mellow Mellow. They had nice jars, nice glass jars. Um, I think we got ube flavor. And then we also got mango with like purple rice. This is all like coconut, coconut pudding. It was really good. That's me in the back with my bomber jacket. <laughs> And these were the croquettes. We got croquettes as well from the same place as Alma Rice. And these were the best croquettes I've ever had. Like, they were really nice and crunchy on the outside. And on the inside, it was warm. It was potatoes and meat. I think there was some cheese inside as well. It was just, it was just really delicious. Highly recommend. I would definitely come back here. Just just here for in LA. <laughs> just to experience the croquettes again. It was so good. Oh my gosh. So good. 
I think that's all the photos then. Oh, and since we made it to the end, here's a slight immersion break of cosplay. Just from the back. Um, me and... It's the high Kave. There's me and Al Haitham. And then my friend, as my Kave. We were... We were just walking and our friend captured us from the back. But yeah, I think this is this is pretty much my entire trip in photos. Get to end off with um, the immersion break here. <laughs> oh, Hawa, you're still here. <laughs> yes, you get to see some of some of the cosplay. But yeah, I think that was it. <gasps> no, no, hello, hello. How are you? Come on in. I just finished going through all the photos from AX, the AX trip. And I guess you came at a good time as I was showing everyone uh, the slight, slight immersion break of me cosplaying <laughs> at AX. Best Ahai the Makabe cosplays ever. Oh, thank you, Hawa. Thank you. But yes, that's me as Ahai and my friend as Kabe. Just go back from volunteering. Hey, well, I hope you get lots of rest. You know, get some food if you haven't already. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Yeah. You see Raiden and Skara? Yeah. You can see them in the back here. So many Genshin cosplayers. There's also an Ayato here. Damn, so tall. I I guess I am pretty tall. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is an accurate representation of my height due to the angle, but you can you can kind of tell how tall I am. Maybe I've never actually said how tall I am on the stream, but you can get a rough idea. But yeah, we got so many photos, like, because we stopped on the side for a bit during, um, when we were cosplaying this. Because there was me, Kave, and then our friend also cosplayed Wander. And a lot of people just came by and asked us for, for photos. But they never asked us for our socials, so I'll never see those photos ever again. <laughs> Which sucks, because I want to see the haul shots, too. Because all we took were, like, selfies. This pic looks around 5'6". Am I a tall queen? I could be tall. Depending on who I'm talking to. I guess I'm tall. <laughs> uh, I'm short. Okay, I'm not that short. I'd say I'm, like, average. Maybe I'm tall for an Asian. But yeah. Get the next convention. This will be more defined. Okay, I'll, I'll have I'll have more muscles. <laughs> I will have more muscles eventually. Okay, but yeah, that concludes pretty much my my convention. My time in LA. I had a really good time. I'm glad to be back though. I missed streaming, so I'll try to be I'll try to stream a little more in July. I think that's what I mentioned because I don't think I'll be touching as much grass. But yeah, thank you all for sitting through the entire slideshow. Damn Jack Tall Queen. <laughs> that's the goal, okay? Being a muscle mommy is the goal here in Anook. <laughs> I'll be jacked like my model. But at least you have more muscle than Ito. Yeah, I do have more muscle than Ito. I do. Glad to be back for any certain reason, like throwing gifts or something. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, only one of the throne gifts has came in. The well, only one of the lightsabers came in. The other ones haven't arrived yet. <laughs> But, um, not, no, no particular reason. I'm just glad to be back, you know? Like, I walked a lot. 
I'm glad to be back in my own bed. <laughs> Your lightsaber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, the lightsabers that that you guys got me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I love how before I left, everyone was like, enjoy your vacation show. I'm like, how am I going to enjoy them if I don't even have lightsabers here yet? <laughs> oh. But yes, I am glad to be back. I'm glad to be streaming again. Um, hopefully I can stream a bit more. Maybe play more Genshin. But yeah. I think, I think that's about it. <laughs> it's a full week of show. Maybe, maybe a full week of show. Maybe I'll try doing more like short streams, but more frequent streams. I'll try that. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see what to do. I need to get back into the groove of things. Because as I was opening up OBS earlier today, I was like, what if what if my things don't connect? Like, I forgot how to stream. Like, what, what things do I need to open up? What do I need to check? <laughs> what programs I need to have? You know, I, I just forgot how to stream temporarily. But now I'm back. So hopefully I can get more things up and running eventually. Um, but yes, I am getting kind of hungry. I've only had one meal today, so I think I will call stream here. Uh, we'll go raid I, actually. I think I, I could have met I too. I was at Anime Expo and she said she saw me. And I was like, why didn't you tell me? And she's like, I, I thought it was you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for coming by and and listening to my vacation recap. Hope you had as much fun as I did sharing with all of you. <laughs> Let me just start the raid. Thank you for stream. Thank you all for coming by. I hope you had fun. I really missed you all. Um, if you guys aren't following socials already, it's here. They're here. I'll be posting more on Twitter and maybe YouTube or TikTok. Um, here are the raid messages. There's no proper... There's no proper schedule yet. But I'll definitely try to stream more um, in July, so maybe you'll get more show, more, more games. Maybe I'll make more progress in Persona 5. You'll never know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for coming by. I really appreciate every single one of you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your days, nights, mornings, wherever you are. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.